we want to convert the given decimals to improper fractions. And if we know our place values and we can say the decimals correctly, we can write them as mixed numbers and then convert them to improper fractions. So for 2.8, notice the eight is in the tenths place value. So 2.8 is two and eight tenths. So as a mixed number, it would be two and eight over 10. And now to convert this to an improper fraction, we would have a denominator of 10. And the numerator would be 10 times two plus eight, which would be 28. So here's the decimal as an improper fraction, but we do want to simplify this. 28 and 10 do share a common factor of two, so we should divide both the numerator and denominator by two to simplify this fraction. So we would have 14 fifths. Now there is a shortcut or another method for converting a decimal to an improper fraction. Meaning we can write the decimal number in the numerator without the decimal point, that would be 28, and then the denominator is always one followed by the same number of zeros as there are digits to the right of the decimal point. Notice there's one digit to the right of the decimal point and we have one followed by one zero. Looking at the second example, notice this eight here is in the hundredths place value. So we would read this as 23 and 48 hundredths. So as a mixed number, we'd have 23 and 48 over 100. And then converting this to an improper fraction, we would have 100 times 23, that's 2,300 plus 48. So we'd have 2,348 over 100. And again, just to emphasize the shortcut, we can put this decimal number in the numerator without the decimal point. There's the 2,348, and then we'd have one followed by two zeros because we have two digits to the right of the decimal point. But now again, we do want to simplify this, and these are both divisible by four, so we'll divide the numerator by four and the denominator by four. 100 divided by four is 25, and 2,384 divided by four is 587. So here are two examples of how to convert a decimal that's greater than one into an improper fraction. I hope this helps.